The world's largest grid battery has just been completed and it's massive at 7.8 gigawatt hours. It's going to provide enough power for millions and millions of people living in Saudi Arabia. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. The world's biggest battery energy storage system, it is 7.8 gigawatt hours. It's far bigger. In fact, it's more than twice the size of the second biggest battery in the world has been completed in Saudi Arabia. It's about to turn on, apparently. And it's going to be connected to literally hundreds of thousands of solar panels. China-based inverter and battery giant SunGrow said last week that construction of the huge big battery had been completed across three sites located in the southwestern regions of KSA, Najran, Kamis, Mushait, and Madea. I'm sure I didn't pronounce those correctly. My apologies. The project is owned by a Saudi electricity company and has an off-take deal with National Grid SA, a wholly owned subsidiary of Saudi Arabia Electricity Company. And this is a, a truly staggering project. Now, you're probably wondering what kind of batteries were they using for this project? Well, lithium ion phosphate is what's been used for this project. Now, would that be different if this was done in, say, three or four years' time from now? I think very likely. I think very likely projects like this will use sodium ion batteries once there's enough of them available. They just last much longer than lithium ion phosphate. We're talking potentially three to four times longer. So an announcement from Ahmed Elbaz, head of BESS Execution, says construction of the project actually was completed five months ago. SunGrow says that it manufactured more than 1,500 Power Titan 2.0 systems in just 58 days for the Saudi electricity company project to help deliver it within a very challenging timeline. The project's annual charging and discharging capacity will reach 2.2 billion kilowatt hours, which can meet the annual electricity needs of, well, probably around, in theory, that's only 400,000 households. But of course, that's their electricity needs for 24 hours a day. The batteries are not designed to run for people to use 24 hours a day. They're designed that during the day, when it's sunny in Saudi Arabia, as you can imagine, it pretty much always is, uh, solar is pumping massive amounts of electricity into these battery systems. If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so, and I'll put a link in the description below. If you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. So realistically, these batteries will actually serve the needs of probably around about 20 million people in Saudi Arabia during the peak period, right? When the sun goes down, generally between about 6 and 10 p.m. in the evenings. So it's very interesting to see these mega batteries. And it's very interesting, isn't it, to see Saudi Arabia basically pivoting away from fossil fuels to renewable energy. At least um, they're smarter than Trump. Yeah, guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing, not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below. There has been an enormous battery boom here in Australia, but in the United States, the same thing is happening. Deployments of batteries worldwide this year are more than double last year. This is only the tip of the iceberg. And the reason is because even though battery prices have come down enormously over the past couple of years, the prices we're paying for batteries today will be seen as enormous in comparison to what they'll cost in five years time all that said though 
US, in terms of battery deployment, it's had its best quarter in history of the past three months. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. The US battery storage market had its biggest market ever. In Q2 2025, a record 5.6 gigawatts of new capacity came online according to the latest US Energy Storage Monitor report from the American Clean Power Association and from Wood McKenzie. Most of that Q2 growth came from utility scale projects, mega batteries, huge mega packs, which added 4.9 gigawatts, enough to power 3.7 million homes during peak demand. During normal demand, it would be probably double that number. More and more states are building out batteries. And the reason is, um, well, one of the reasons is because they've been wasting, like Australia, like Europe, like many countries, wasting huge amounts of renewable energy because most renewables, not all of them, but most is generated during the daytime when the sun's out. And people don't usually use electricity during that period of time. So really what this is doing it's almost generating electricity for free because instead of wasting it, these battery packs are able to just store previously wasted energy. I think it's um, a great solution. Texas, California, and Arizona each added more than one gigawatt of new capacity. The Southwest Power Pool, which hadn't seen new battery storage projects in three years, which is insane, saw a big return with three installations in Oklahoma, Florida and Georgia are now forecast to deploy more battery storage than uh, what well, was previously expected to happen. The biggest reason is the declining cost in batteries. Because as batteries get cheaper, they become more logical to actually install. But it's not actually just a declining cost. It's also the movement away from NMC batteries or NCM batteries Nickel, cobalt, manganese batteries, right? In the past, those were used for energy storage. They're more expensive than lithium ion phosphate, don't last as long. And remember, sodium ion batteries actually last quite a bit longer than lithium ion phosphate batteries. Plus, they're going to be much cheaper. And the US has begun installing sodium ion grid batteries as well. Energy storage is being quickly deployed to strengthen our grid as demand for power surges and is helping to drive down energy prices for American families and businesses. Despite regulatory uncertainty, the industry is on track to produce enough grid batteries in U.S. factories to meet 100% of domestic demand, said Noah Roberts, the ACP president of energy storage. 